day makeup routine and how I get ready before church and how I get ready before church and how I get ready before church and I'm just going to show you what what I use every day so here it goes first off I grab my brush it is the ID bare mineral foundation brush I use that and then I grab my foundation out of here I know it's a little, little it is my bare minerals um, CC cream or BB cream I'm not sure I got a sample of it because I really wanted to try it they said it corrects uh, redness but you can see I got a lot of redness around my face and I really like it because it does its job it does a really fine job of covering up my redness and covering up everything and here I go I'm just gonna do my everyday routine I just kind of take this brush put a little bit on it like this I dab it on there and then I just kind of dab it on my face a little bit and then rub it in as you can tell the everyday basic routine of getting ready I'm rubbing in my foundation after I got a little bit of it patted on just making sure it's real blended out and normally I do about one one to two coats just depending on how dark I want it that day but I think it does a really good job now I know every YouTuber and video or makes faces when they put their makeup on it's just natural with who they are okay. so after I'm done with my foundation I get my my powder which I gotta find my foundation and I get my blood my powder which is this the fit me my Maybelline New York and it's the color 120 classic ivory and then i've learned over the years from youtube and different beauty gurus that you just take a fluffy brush pat the excess off and just kind of put it down your t-zone and on your chin and then just use the extra and just kind of distribute it it kind of makes it where i don't know not shiny matte and I just rub it on there real good and then I do my contour and highlighting with that's heart and then I use an, by the way this brush was from Estee Lauder and then I have a brush right here which is a bare minerals brush you can see that it's angled and I just, and I just put a little bit of bronzer on that suck in my cheek so I can define my cheekbones and you can see I'm just kind of putting it up the line of my cheekbone where it's you can see a crease right there and I just put it right there I know it looks kind of dark for my skin tone, but that's okay because it will get blended in in just a minute. I gotta get my blush on. Once I do that, I have a blush brush, which is also ID Bare Minerals. As you can tell, I like Bare Minerals. They got really good brushes. And I just smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks and just kind of rub up a little bit. And this is kind of hard because you know I am videoing this on my cell phone and I'm trying to look in the mirror trying to this and this is my first time I've done this so I'm new at this I'm going to see how this turns out you can also give me suggestions and stuff that you think will make my videos better or what not to do next time or what not to do next time and suggestions on what to do I know next time I need to have all my stuff put together so I can just grab And then I grabbed this. This comes from 
an Ipsy bag, and it is Queen of the Fill Tinted Brow Gel. It's medium to light, so like if you have like a dirty blonde hair type or like a light brown, this is good. And I like it because it has, I don't know, I don't know if you can see a little bitty brush on it. And it's and I just use it to fill in my brows. And it's kind of like gel. Oh, that's what it says. And it kind of makes your eyebrows stay in place. And I kind of just brush a little bit of it on just to fill my eyebrows in. Because I have such light eyebrows. You... And I don't get them the same every time. Sometimes they're darker, sometimes they're lighter, but uh, that's every year. Okay. So I brush that in, then I take a spoolie that I got from Sephora, it was like a one I used to sample something, so I just stick it with me. Ain't nothing wrong with that, ain't nobody else going to use it, they were just going to throw it in the garbage. And then, I just kind of fix it. I just fix it and rub it in. And Tell it's the tint that I want because I don't like it too dark. Eyebrows too obvious. This was also I don't know if you can see it from an Ipsy bag. It is Urban Decay 24/7 Violet Glide On Pencil, and I like it because it's a really dark black. And I so now I'm just gonna do my eyeballs. And a tight line, just like one third of my eye, and then I do the corner, and then I always go all the way across with this, because I like her a real defined eye shape. I do it on the other side too, and I just kind of close my eyes and let it guide on there. And then after I do this, I do eyelashes. And the reason, the reason I do my eyelashes next is because I have a hard time with doing eyelashes and not getting all over my eyeshadow. So, I do my eyelashes next. That way, it don't get all over my eyeshadow and ruin it. And I have to go back and redo it. Get all over my eyeshadow and ruin it. I can find me some mascara, girls. We'll see you next year. I use Lash Sensational from Maybelline, New York. It's a really good one. And this is what the end of the brush looks like. And I just put it on the. I do. I do about two or three coats, and I just go in between and just do coats. I just do it till it's the thickness I like it. And yes, my hair's in a towel because I've not fixed it yet. Because after I do my makeup, I fix my hair. I'm going to straighten it. And I just use, uh, I just use like a styling product which helps protect my hair from the heat. And it's either like a spray or an argan oil. And I use that because it keeps the frizz down and keeps it tame and it protects it and it does a good job. So that's why I do that. And I just do my eyelashes until there's enough coat on it that I like it. And I bought big, thick, standout lashes. But I can't always get that with my real eyelashes because they're really, really blonde. And I can't wear falsies because I don't know how to apply them and when I try to apply them I can't get them to stick so I said I said I don't like them and I'm not going to figure them out so if somebody I've watched every YouTube tutorial there is I just can't figure them out so I just put on coats and coats of mascara And I always get it real dark, and I always really like it the way it turns out. So, no complaints. 
Now I'm going to get me some eyeshadow. It's Judy's time. This is a really cool palette. I really liked it. She created it. It was like, I don't know, I think it was like $39. And she had it on sale for like $10. So I went ahead and bought it because that was a really good deal. And then I use, when I do my eyeshadow, I normally try to use three different brushes. And this one is, this one is, Crown Brush. And it comes in an Ipsy bag. As you can see, it's got the Lindy Brush and the Define Brush. This one also comes in an Ipsy bag. And it's Elizabeth Mott All Over Shadow, which does a good job at putting it all over. And then I got this tapered brush, which is Heavenly Line and Buff ID Bare Bindle, as you can tell. And I like it's Judy's time because the palette has a lot of colors. Some I can use and use them for every day. I can use every day. So I'm going to take, I normally use this brush first and then I take this pretty shiny color. And I just put it all over my eye, all over my eyes, so it's real pretty and shiny. And I can use it for a base color. I just use it for a base color to get started. And I normally wear browns, and then I just put a little bit of color with it because it gives it a little bit of defined color on my light skin. Looks awful. I didn't try that. But here's my base. Let's see. There's my base coat, as you can see. And then I take this this brush right here, I don't know if you can see it, uh, that little tapered brush, and I get like a light color, which I normally use this one, I'm going to use this one, a light brush, and I do my, sorry guys, I use a, I use a, put it next to my eyebrows, so it defines it, and gives it shape, and it cleans it up where I put the eyebrow stuff in, which makes it look really good. And then I do the corners. Because the corner, it defines my corner, makes my eyes look brighter and look bigger. And I like the way it looks. And then I do the, I'm in my bathroom. I will eventually have a uh, place to video, which will be better than my bathroom. I just haven't got it ready, guys. I got. It's hard to see when you don't have your glasses on. Now that I've got that done. Sorry, I didn't stop. I'm going to go in with this brush. This defined brush. And put a darker color. And I normally do a dark color in the corner. And my lower lash line. So I go... So it kind of looks smoky. And I do it with a defining brush because I make the lines harsh as I want them. And then after you see how harsh they are, and then after I make them harsh as I want them. See, it's, it looks harsh now because it's defined, but I'm going to blend it out with the blending brush. The blending brush. The all over brush. The all over blending brush. And it looks so much better because it's not as harsh. And it looks like everything's meant to be together and it looks defined. Like there ain't this crease, this crease, this crease. And it, it just looks like it was meant to be. And this is my everyday look. Cause this is just what looks good on me for my skin color. You, you can tell I've pale skin. I got skin. I got red tones in my skin, so I had to be real careful about the red tones in my skin. Sorry, guys. I don't always get both eyes just perfect, but that's okay, because I can fix it with a blending brush. And if I think there's one on, more on one side than the other, I take it and I just add more to the other side. I'd rather start with less 
than too much because you can always buff it out and take some buff it out and fix it but you can't ever take it off once it's there it's there so I'd rather not have enough and be able to buff it and fix it than to not than to have too much and it looks stupid but you know that's all right but here I am now you can see my eyeballs now now I just gotta find a lip color I always do a different lip color if you find my lip this dark color and my lips always crease and mess up so I'm gonna try and see how this turns out. Might be an epic fail, but that's okay. Cause this is a fall, pretty fall color. It's like a lip stain. What is this called? This is. If this come out of an Ipsy bag, it was like a little Ipsy. See, that's where I get a lot of my high dollar makeup is out of Ipsy. Because it's only ten dollars a month, and you get a makeup bag and four to five sample products. And this is, I don't even know. It's got like a shine, shine on the tube, so I can't really tell. It's Wonder Lip Planet, plant or what tattoo stuff. I normally just put like one or two coats of this one. There. That's a really pretty color. And thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe. Subscribe down in the below. Like. And give me comments. Hope you enjoyed my routine. And it's just a little old teensy-weensy fashion. Bye. Thank you.